The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of Paltalk.com, AVM software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of Pelt. Talk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the and 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube. And now, thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, uh, we are syndicated uh, to uh, cable systems uh, serving an additional 12 million households. I'm your host, Gary Baumgarten. Happy New Year, or as I like to say, Happy News Year to you all. Uh, for those of you who are in the uh, time zone where the bewitching hour has just ticked, uh, I know there are people in Romania here today and elsewhere. Happy 2008 to you. The cool thing about Pal Talk is that the people from all around the world uh, can celebrate with us at the same time. And so we could celebrate New Year's over and over again. The people uh, further uh, east. Did I get that right? Like in uh, Australia and New Zealand, it's already 2008 there. We're a day behind. They're always ahead of us. Uh, so happy New Year to you as well. Um, and here's what we're going to do today. I want to talk about one ma matter in the news, but I also want to talk more generally about three things. Your New Year's resolution for yourself, your New Year's resolution for the world and the third thing and so there's no reason for anybody to sit this out I want to see hands up and I want to hear from all of you no reason to be shy today uh, because this is these are subjects that all of us are experts in because we're talking about our own personal feelings uh, in Latin America they have this tradition where you take the uh, items of the past year that you do not want to carry over into the new year and you put them in a in a doll and you burn the doll and what they did was they did an adaptation of that uh, at Times Square today where you could take something that you do not want to carry over to the new year and you put it in a big paper shredder get rid of it you know it could be a picture of your ex spouse or lover get rid of it it could be the mortgage on your house that expired get rid of it it could be the war in Iraq if that's what your hope is get rid of it so I want to talk about that your New Year's resolution what do you think about New Year's resolutions um, have you really today on New Year's Eve if you look back at 2007 the New Year's resolutions that you made a year ago today um, were you successful? What are your New Year's resolutions for 2008? And, you know, if you could be in charge of the world, <laughs> what would your New Year's resolution be uh, for uh, 2008? Uh, not for yourself, but for the rest of us. And what happened in 2007 that you like to rid yourself of here in um in uh, 2008. Now, one of the New Year's resolutions that Hannah Leah is suggesting, and somebody else suggested to me in a PM earlier, was uh, to have a life outside of Pal Talk. Um, look, ladies and gentlemen, we don't want that New Year's resolution. Nothing is more important than your life on Pal Talk. Um, actually, it is important to have balance in one's life. I agree. Uh, but come on. But, you know, isn't that the most interesting thing about this program? It is so addicting. And uh, we say this with a degree of warning to those of you who are listening on our affiliate base, whether on Internet radio or whether uh, on cable through CRN Digital Talk Radio, that if you download Pal Talk to join in the conversation, you'll also be uh, given opportunity to enter the world of the rest of Pal Talk, because Pal Talk is not just news talk online. You know, even though, okay, this is the center of the universe. Yes, we know this to be true. But uh, there are a lot of other things uh, that occur around us, you know, that, that 
uh, orbit around News Talk Online on Pal Talk, <laughs> uh, because uh, there are rooms that are created by you, our users, in all kinds of categories: religious category, social issues category, music category, where the musicians play music uh, for one another, ethnic categories, where you could talk to people uh, of like ethnic mind. Uh, and there are even uh, categories for uh, young people, and there are categories for adult entertainment. There's everything you can imagine right here on Pal Talk, because we're into enabling people to uh, chat with people all around the world, and that's what it's all about. So I'm going to start by putting Boaz Franco on the line. Oh, and I also wanted to discuss one issue in the in, in the news uh, that I am confused about, and perhaps. Uh, somebody can explain it to me because I may be missing something here. But I thought that the President of the United States uh, wanted to send the troops into Iraq and was a supporter of the military. And, you know, there was this big thing when he was running for re-election over the military vote. Who would it go for, John Kerry or President Bush? And it was all, you know, the troops are for the president, the troops are for the president. And then we hear, well, they didn't properly uh, equip the troops when they went into Iraq. Uh, are the Republicans really pro-military if they send people into battle with substandard weapons and without the proper kind of armament on the vehicles? And then we've heard complaints that when our boys and girls are wounded and they come back, they're, they're not getting the kind of care that they should be getting at the VA hospitals. We all know about all these scandals. We've discussed it all here on Pal Talk. Now comes word that the President of the United States vetoed a defense appropriations bill. If I've got this right, he vetoed a bill that would have uh, properly funded the troops in Iraq because there was something else in the bill that he didn't like. And I just don't understand this because I thought the President was for the troops. So maybe somebody can uh, um, explain this to me. What's going on here? Now, I will say this. I do agree with the president that fundamentally I do not like these bills. I do not like the way Congress does this, where they attach to a main bill appropriations uh, that have absolutely nothing to do with that bill. And by the way, uh, they think that they're benefiting themselves by doing this because they're bringing, it's called pork barreling. They, you know, they build a bridge in the desert. Okay, Mr. President, if you want my vote, my critical vote on this bill, I'm going to put into uh, the bill, tack on a rider that builds a bridge in the desert to create jobs for uh, my constituents. And uh, I get reelected because, you know, it's all about me getting reelected every two years. If you're a member of the House of Representatives, it's a lot of pressure on these men and women of Congress. I, I, I recognize this. And it causes for them to have a record, by the way, uh, if there's something inappropriate in a bill, there's some spending for some horrible pork barrel. But the bill is an important bill, um, such as uh, the funding of um, uh, the troops that are in harm's way. If they vote for the bill, uh, then the person running against them says, oh, well, uh, Congressman Schmitschick 